Well, today I'm going to take a walk around the outside of Colchester Castle. <laughs> Duke William of Normandy was crowned King of England on Christmas Day 1066, following his victory at the Battle of Hastings. He established a castle in London, which is known today as the White Tower, commissioning a castle in Colchester soon afterwards. Designed by Gundolf, Bishop of Rochester, Colchester Castle shares the same footprint as the White Tower, although much larger in size. The sycamore tree on the top of the castle was planted there in 1815, to commemorate the English victory over the French at the Battle of Waterloo. It was planted by a lady called Mary Ann Smith. She was the daughter of John Smith, who was Colchester's longest serving jailer. Mary was born at the castle in 1777 and died aged 85 in 1852. Outside the front of the castle are the remains of the Old Bailey Church one of the earliest churches founded in Colchester. This particular church dates from around the 8th or the 9th century. During the excavations in 1932, quite a large number of skeletons were found here. It's unknown who they were. They could be linked to the castle, perhaps soldiers or servants, or more likely to be prisoners who have died in their cells. There's a plaque on the ground here which commemorates all those who were accused of witchcraft during the 16th and 17th centuries. During the years 1643 to 1647, the now infamous witchfinder general Matthew Hopkins travelled around this region accusing people of witchcraft. Those accused were held in Colchester Castle before being sent to Chelmsford for trial. Many were found guilty and then hanged. <laughs> Back in 1734, a new prison area was built on the eastern side of the castle. The steps behind me and the door were the new entrance into the prison area. I'm now walking in the Castle Bailey, one of the many execution sites that exist throughout the town of Colchester. During the reign of Mary I from 1553 to 1558, many Protestant martyrs were burnt at the stake for their faith. The Castle Bailey is also said to be haunted. It's hardly surprising given the amount of death that occurred here over the years. One story centres around a, a Roman centurion who said to walk around the grounds at night. <laughs> Thank you.
On the 28th of August, 1648, just after six in the evening, the two royalist captains, Sir Charles Lucas and Sir George Lyle, were escorted from their cell and out of the castle's rear door to their execution. The obelisk behind me marks the spot where on the 28th of August, 1648, the two royalist captains were shot under the orders of the Parliamentarian General, Sir Thomas Fairfax. <laughs> Along the outside of the castle are numerous square holes. These are known as putlock holes and they were placed there during the castle's construction. As the name would suggest, logs were put into these holes in order to secure the scaffolding to the castle during its construction. enjoyed this video then why not leave a comment in the comment section below and hit that subscribe button and follow my channel thanks for watching